Take it easy. Usually last minute, I go until I need to shit my pants or throw up, so. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is currently, I think 7 a.m. Going to get a workout in. Mondays are my craziest days. I literally have like 10 meetings and it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, a few different things. So number one, today what I want to do is give you kind of a, uh, a tutorial. So I want to take an exercise and I want to show how you can be doing kind of some of the similar bodybuilding movements that I'm doing with bodyweight training, which is really, really cool. I want to kind of shift it up a little bit. And throughout the weeks, I want to give tutorials. I want to give kitchen things. I want to give full days of eating. I want to give um, talks. I want to give so many different types of things that uh, bring energy to your life and also things that you could just fucking take and, and implement immediately. So uh, we're going to do that. This week I have a deload week, which means instead of three or four or five sets for all my movements, I'm going to go down to two sets. Uh, it's still going to be pretty intense. It's just that it's not going to be as much volume for Monday and Tuesday. And then for Thursday and Friday and Saturday, instead of training on Saturday, I'm going to reduce that and I'm going to train Thursday and Friday uh, with a little bit more volume, but a lighter weight. So it's not going to be as hard. And then the next week after that, we're going to be back to regular training. So this week I want to give a lot more knowledge and like some cool shit that you can really take in. So, uh, yeah. And by the way, I got this Jersey right here, this champion Jersey. It's freaking baller. Oh my gosh. I love it. And for some reason I woke up this morning and like my ears all messed up. I'm just hot. Like I feel like my body is just like destroyed. I don't know why. Maybe it's maybe it's the dieting and I'm not used to all this stuff, but uh, either way, let's eat. So a quick pre-workout meal. I'm gonna have eight ounces of salmon, eight ounces of broccoli, and I'm gonna have a little bit of black rice right here. So generally, I'm staying, I wanna stay around 500 calories or less. So I'm not gonna eat too many carbs, and I'm not gonna eat too much salmon, and actually I might even cut this in half to eat. But uh, yeah, the most important part is don't like don't put so much stress on your body before you train. I'm also gonna have my creatine HCL, so I'm, it's called an intra workout. Like th that's how you want to eat, like around that that intra portion, which is before and after. So I'm gonna have my creatine HCL. I'm gonna have my B12. I'm gonna have my um, uh, my greens juice. Uh, a couple different things. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the workout. So here at this gym, they have these tea tree, smell this. Mm. What's it smelling? Do, uh, elegant. do a wipe on the face. Do a wipe on the face. Wipe it. <laughs> Bro, like I'm dead at, like open it up and, and watch, watch this. Watch how it feels. It's amazing. Wipe the whole face, bro. I'm gonna do it. Ooh, juicy. It's fucking refreshing, right? I feel relaxed, I feel like I'm at a, right? at a spa. It's tea tree. It's like a tea tree oil. Freaking, I don't even know how they have like. For, for a minute. Huh? So, so it's for a minute. I mean, I don't even know why they have these two. Maybe it's for people like us. They're just like, yo, brother. Just fancy as hell. Oh man, dude, and they're freezing cold. They're just like, oh, they're cold, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> Just wakes you up like crazy. Oh sh! Oh. Just sniff a little bit. Little, little, yeah, there you go. Gosh. <laughs> Gotta put it on all the pimples. I have this massive pimple right here. Do you ever get those pimples behind here? Mm -hmm, a little bit. This is a pimple where there's a fucking massive, like man eating. I think he's moving in, dude. He start, start paying rent. <laughs> start paying rent. Sixty dollars. Yeah. Shit. All right, let's get this work right in. I'm going to. Start with a quick warm up. You don't have to see that. And then we're gonna dive into um, a pushing movement into weighted pull ups. So, again, I'm gonna do only probably instead of like five sets of bench, I'll do three sets of bench. And then I will, instead of doing like four sets of pull ups, I'll do three sets or two sets of pull ups. So, let's get to it, brother. All right, so 
one of these movements I actually wanted to show you on the TRX because it's actually brutal for the posterior chain. So you'll see right here, right, as I go, so I start here, look at my shoulder a little bit. Ready? So when I'm coming, you can see it engaging like crazy, right? And because I'm horizontally abducting and I'm going out here and I'm turning with it, I'm targeting it even more. So all you gotta do, look at my feet placement. It's almost like my foot's tor turning towards the mirror and my, this foot's just regular, right? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that foot, boom. That's all it is, that's all it is. So keep this one turned right here and boom. That's literally it, so yeah, let's get into the full workout. Basically what I'm doing is, so I did eight reps there, yeah. the 45, yeah. hit 10 there. So I'll do, instead of five sets, and then four sets here, I'll do um, three sets, two sets here. So I'm not doing too much, but I'm still staying kind of heavy. So the 85 is incline. It's not too heavy, but it's, it's getting there, 10 reps. Um, here, 45 pound weight. I'm doing exactly what I want to. Exactly what I need to do. Let's get it. Super wide. You see my hand placement? It's like, I'm not here, it's not here, like closer to my midline. It's far away. So I really wanna work on getting my back wider. Let's see. Actually, with this, I'm gonna do, I'll do five sets of 10. So I'm not gonna superset it with anything. And then I'll probably finish off with a try and bicep exercise. So here, yeah, five sets of 10. Like I said, it's a deload, so I'm not, I'm not going, I'm going heavy. Um, all, of the, all of what I've done 
if I, I could have done it three to four sets of each of those the supersets that I've already done. So this is kind of a, a thought to keep in mind that um, with deloading, it, it really comes down to one variable. And for me today, it is um, how many sets I'm doing, which attributes to my volume. And so next, I'll keep the same volume like this, like Friday, uh, Thursday and Friday, but I'll keep the weight lower, right? So the volume is always uh, attributed to sets times reps times weight. Now you can have like a similar way of volume with a lower weight. It's just, it's like, it's just a variable. You like change one variable. That's all, that's all you really fucking do. That's uh, I'm not gonna do four sets. I'm not gonna do a fifth set. Once I start feeling it, I'm like, okay, I really am fatigued. Remember, I'm not trying to, yeah, it's like smacking around. I'm not trying to kill myself. I'm trying to really, really get a good pump. Keep the weight a little bit higher still. Not as much volume. That's all I'm doing. Buys for the girls, tries for the girls. <laughs> That's it, man. I'm a bodybuilder with the champion mindset. <laughs> if I quit, I'm a vajay. I'm quitting, just kidding. 13, not yet, I don't quit. I'm a champion, I'm a varsity builder, I'm a creatine HCI man. I just tore my bicep, oh well. Caption the video, I tore my bicep. Because of how swole I am. Train hard. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I actually have to do eight minutes on the Stairmaster as fast as I can. I'm a bodybuilder. Um, I took my creatine HCL today. I'm a bodybuilder. And uh, now I want to go through an exercise you could be doing in substitute of this body weight only training. So, I'm gonna choose the movement here. Actually, you know what? I'll show you. Just check this out. Come on. Come on, Brennan. Fuck you. Now we're gonna go in and do the uh, the body weight movement. So the weight lifting movement. Um, doing that three times a week. So it ain't easy. Usually last minute I go until I need to shit my pants or throw up. So it's all about how serious you are. That's it, man. It's an easy game. Just gotta play it right. Okay, 
So I'm gonna show you a variation you can be doing, hence the title of this video, instead of this, all these bodybuilding movements. So this isn't even so much a bodybuilding movement. Well, it is in some ways, bodybuilding, you're building your body. But it's more so a functional, and one way that you can kind of duplicate that and hit the anterior delts in the upper pec. Because remember, anything that's going into flexion of that shoulder joint, especially coming closer to the midline of that body, is going to put a lot of stress, a lot of work on that upper chest, upper pec, and also the anterior delt. Of course, your, your lats are gonna be working and stuff like that. I mean, your lats, also your traps, but mainly those two. So one way that you can do this, so you saw the movement here, when I was right here on the, um, on the landmine press, and I was going up like this, right? So you can see all the movement. It's, I mean, it's pretty easy. That's why it's called, it's like a bodybuilding movement. You know exactly what it's targeting and how it's targeting it, right? So how do we mimic this in bodyweight training? Well, I'll tell you to go on a dip bar. Now, we don't have a dip bar here, so we're just gonna use a Smith machine, but you can also incorporate this into the gym if you would like as well. This can be as advanced as you want it to be. So, you're not gonna be here and coming here and then squeezing up like this. No, because you're gonna be putting too much stress on those triceps. What you wanna do is remove the stress from the triceps and focus more on the upper pec here. So how do we do this? We're gonna come closer to the bar, surprisingly, and I'll show you with two arms, and you're gonna come down, allowing your elbows to flare out a little bit, bending your knees, okay? This is where you're gonna start from, and all you're gonna be doing is pressing up and through, boom. So it's up here. It's almost like you're protracting your scaps a little bit. So right here, to the bottom of your chest, and then boom, that's to the top of it. Here, boom. So you're focusing mainly on the up pec. It's very, very important because a lot of you are gonna push too hard with your, with your triceps and your arms. It's gonna take away from the entire movement. Now, another way you can do this, this is one of my favorite, is instead of two arms, you're gonna go one, one arm. So you bend your knees a little bit, okay? Bar should be about hip, play, hip length. You're gonna come down here, and then you're going to squeeze, 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 up and through, up to this side. So this is in the midline of your body, right? So you're down here, and up, 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 boom. So you're really going as high as possible. And through that movement, yeah, you're gonna work your, your regular pack as well, of course, but you're gonna be able to target that, that upper pack into your toe here, one more time. Let's do the other side right here, okay? So I'm kind of up on my tippy toes, about hip length here, coming down, bending my knees as I'm gonna come down, boom, and then up and squeezing up top here. Okay, one more time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Boom. I actually learned one of these movements from a very close trainer of mine, Eric Cressy, a while ago. It was actually for my shoulder rehab, and I mean, look where I am now. So definitely try that out yourself. I'm telling you, if you do it correctly, you'll feel it like crazy. I generally like to do around 12 repetitions. It's tough, but it's definitely worth it. And supersetting it with a back movement, maybe a pull-up, horizontal pull, um, like an inverted row. You can do headbangers. Um, you can do dips, a lot of different really cool movements that you could be doing it with that, are, that will work other muscles that were synergistically, synergistically working, which is, means assisting in that movement. So uh, yeah, that is your tutorial for the day. Um, really wanted to just go through that for today. I wanna go through tutorials. Comment down below with any tutorials you would like to see or hear about. Um, I really wanna show you how to take bodybuilding into the body weight community and vice versa, bring body weight into the bodybuilding community. Um, but right now, I'm focused on more bodybuilding movements because I never have before. So subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below how you feel, any questions, anything like that. Remember the podcast, Create You Experience every Tuesday and Friday. You can find it on Spotify, also iTunes. Every Tuesday, I generally have a video here. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace.